Hello and welcome to Baking in a Building Site, the only cookery show that makes you say, what in the name of Queen Elizabeth II has happened to your kitchen? Please enjoy my current kitchen. These are the beautiful steel beams currently holding up the bedroom we sleep in and making sure we don't crash down during the middle of the night. This gorgeous and noisy sheet provides hours of entertainment as we sit there going, is it raining? Is it raining? But it is raining. I'm sure it's raining. I think I heard it raining. Great, especially when it's windy. Observe the washing machine, which may or may not still be plumbed in. We're not going to test it. Here is an exciting archaeological find. Five layers of lino that used to be in our kitchen before being ripped up. What used to be the dining room is now an artistic centerpiece. We've gone builder chic. The hole to the centre of the earth slash our house. And today's ingredient is not actually this, don't worry, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry. And finally, we come to the oven, which supposedly still works. Let's find out. And now I'm going to put on a coat because it's really ruddy cold. Do you know when you go to people's house and they're all like, oh, I'm so sorry for all this mess, my God. But the house is immaculately clean and tidy and the only thing that's wrong is like one mug that's on a table. And they're just really doing it to show off to you about how perfect their house is. Yeah, this isn't that. I apologize for how messy my house is. This is the loft that we've been living in for the past week. Um, all of our stuff is in it. And this is where I will be doing my baking today because it's just too cold in that kitchen. Technically still baking in a building site though, because what is this room if not that? And I will of course have to use the oven in a room that since it is now open to the elements, I guess it's technically outside. My jacket, by the way, uh, was nabbed from YouTube, thanks to my partner manager. Today, I will be making banana muffins. Yes, the same banana muffins uh, that we previously made in a baking bag and that I made ugh, in our first quarantine live stream uh, because I thought that that was definitely something that we could keep up with every week, doing a live stream. Not sure now why I thought that. Um, I guess it was better before the building work properly started and um, I decided to ruin my house and wow, surprisingly stressful. And why banana muffins? Well, my wife and I deeply enjoy baked bananas. Any kind of cooked banana, anything really. Just delicious, but we don't really eat bananas. We buy a lot of bananas, but we just don't eat them until I cook them into something. And then they just sit there until they really start to smell and we go, oh, probably make them into something. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, actually it's too hot, too hot for the, too hot for the jacket. My ideal match um, would be to make jackets that are like these, but shorter, cropped, so you can wear them in 1950s styles, and probably not in black and white, and then have embroidered with my little crest. Future, future for when life isn't so, um, wow, exploded. These are the conditions that we're working in. We will be mixing today on Claudia's yoga mat. I didn't think through the fact that the yoga mat, ah, okay. Also, I'm incredibly weak. Plugged in, it's plugged into the wall. All right, we're good. Can't currently find the scale, so it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Dry ingredients go first in here. You know what this should actually be called rather than baking in a building site? Baking and losing my mind. I stuck my dress under the mixer. I don't have scales, so we're just, you know, going with the flow. It's fine. Besides, I make these a lot. I can vaguely guesstimate, right? Right? Yeah. No, uh, shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, when baking, you should always properly check your ingredients. You know what? This video isn't really a recipe, is it? Let's be honest. But you know when you're a child and someone asks you how old you are and you're immediately like, I am seven and eight thirteenths. But then, you know, you get older and, um, and, and vaguely adult. I'm supposed to be an adult now, apparently. No one really informed me or informed my brain. I don't feel like I hit 30 and there was some massive brain change. Also, you know, like I got married when I was 27. So that wasn't a massive like brain change. Anyway, the point is late twenties, they were kind of mushy. And now I'm in my early thirties, equally mushy. I need salt. You know, you just get to that stage in life when 
It's like in The Sims, right? You stop being a teenager, you become a young adult. Am I still a young adult? Or have I reached that point now where you're just an adult? I don't know. You know what I can do though, is I can bake, even in bad situations. <laughs> hey! Okay, I just realized I have absolutely no recollection of any of the ingredients I just put in that bowl. So I'm now gonna have to just watch this back to see what I actually did. Dry ingredients, mixed. Now we're gonna put the wet ingredients in here. Oh, you know what I would really like to see on YouTube? You know those videos, they're like, everything I learned in my 20s. I know, skincare tips I learned in my 30s. I don't think that one exists. But I would really like to see something like, everything I learned about life in my 70s. Things I now know about love from my 60s. I really enjoy how YouTube gives you a little glimpse into people's lives and thoughts and worlds. And I'd really like it if there were more older people on YouTube. I do realize that my viewership is actually younger than me, so I am the glimpse into the future. I'm pretty sure all adults have this actual feeling, like we're all just playing pretend. We're all just making it up as we go along. For that moment where you go, oh, I'm actually an adult now. Wow. Because when does that come? When? I don't actually have a knife up here. So we're just going to use the edge of this bowl as our knife. There we go. Look at that. Again, really feel like there's more in this. I don't know. I'm a bit like a, a, uh, a woozy woozy. You know? I am. All right. Let's mix this. You know, I didn't eat bananas for 10 years at least. Yeah, I basically didn't eat any kind of carbs. Bananas are apparently a carb. I know, I just can't really digest starches and bananas are incredibly starchy. Um, for like 10 years, it was a really long time. I didn't eat rice, I didn't eat potatoes. I didn't eat any kind of wheat or grain or anything. Um, vegetables that grow in the ground, didn't eat those. Didn't eat sweet fruits which banana also falls into. Um, so like nectarines. Actually, I still can't handle a nectarine. I still can't really handle sugar, but Claudia helped me work out my digestion and allow me to eat things again. And it's really weird, but I keep coming across things like, oh, I haven't actually eaten this for 10 years. What a thing. The other day I had a croissant, a gluten-free croissant. And I was like, this is the first time I've eaten a croissant. 10 years, except it was more, because it was like, 13 years. What a life. Now it's time to start adding these wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. All right, give that a little whiz. Let's put batter into cupcake cases in fast forwards. So shockingly, the oven still works. Pan to the oven. Don't look at how dirty our oven is. Found this at the back of the one cupboard that's not been demolished. All right, time to take our muffins out. Ooh, yeah. The ex extractor fan is gone. Okay, it seems like uh, maybe one side of the oven is working much better than the other. They've risen this side. Why have they not risen on this side? Uh this side of the house is colder. Woo, look at that, see? That is not bad having been baked in a building site. I'm impressed. You should be too. Look at that wall behind you. Tilly, you're trying to escape. Okay, hon. Go back to civilization. Bye. So hot, but so tasty looking. <laughs> Not bad. I'm proud of the work we've done here today. Thank you so much for watching this video. You probably didn't learn a recipe. You probably didn't learn how to actually make banana muffins or even to bake at all. But maybe you took the message that you can still make something yummy that warms your heart even when everything around you is a massive mess. You can still be creative. You can still make lovely, artistic, delightful things, 
even when the world is tumbling down. And I think that's a good message. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.